What is up, everyone? In the last one, we recruited Thane Krios, finally. We also learned about Samara's mission that she wants us to go on with her to kill her own daughter. So I feel like that's going to be a heavy one. I kind of want to do it after I do Tollies. I, there's such there's so much I want to do. <laughs> I feel like I, I should go in order. I should probably do Garrus's <laughs> first. Let's read Tollies' mission really quick, too. Treason. So... She must travel to the flotilla to answer these charges. I'm so excited. So it's in the Rahilea, located on Valhallen Threshold. Oh! Interesting. Well, isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, do anything? Oh, holy! When he said he improved my probes, I didn't know it, was, it meant that. I'm definitely gonna take it though. Oh, even more. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna make me excited for when we do our exploring. Look at this epic twirlage. <laughs> okay, let's go. The Migrant Fleet. The fleet of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million Quarians. The Migrant Fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though Aquarians on pilgrimage have visited more most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the Aquarians' ships. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely taking Tali. Who should I take? If we're taking Tali, maybe Grunt. Join us, Grunt. Oh, let's do it. The flotilla. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Hmm. Would this be rude to say? <laughs> I never actually reached the rank of captain. And technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Telly helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. No. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Hmm. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no... No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Oh. That was not what I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be your dad, <laughs> not wanting her to go on our mission. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. 
Captain. We know. I can't even get a Quadian Captain to stand for her. She's as good as convicted. Excuse me? Oh, I have some words. This place is cool. Ooh. Tali Zorovas, Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Okay. Auntie Ron, Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Hmm. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Talia and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. Mm -hmm. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorava Sneema. Whatever we must call you legally. Mm -hmm. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. No. Oh. I got this. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I got this. I'll do everything in my power to help yes. you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. Yes. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have yep. declared Tally crew of the Normandy exactly. Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. That's what Shepherd I thought. Shepard Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Yes, of course. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zoravas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Talcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Hmm. Oh god. I, I hate choosing. Is there a bad option here? She couldn't have done this. She's innocent. Uh, I'm stressed. <laughs> I 
I'm saying that she checks everything. It's so hard to know what he's gonna say. How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lampship where your father was working. <laughs> What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Keela. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. I bet it was all you, Course. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return. Or upon determination that you have been killed in action. I don't like that. That admiral. Something's fishy here. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The admiral sounds sure that my I know. father is already dead. But they haven't even checked. I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Hmm. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I know. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I I don't know. He, he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Why would she, you know, she like, it's such a Dumb. Like, why would they think it would be her fault? Ugh. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Lovely. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Well, let's talk to all the different Vitor and Aura. Loyalty to the fleet Admiral is about Zen. more than just killing Geth. Talizor is guilty. Kal Rieger. Yeah. Shepard, Talizor. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. Yeah, I wanted to know more so about that. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Mm -hmm. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. They can screw up a star. Our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. 
What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. Hmm. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. <laughs> What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like he gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly's order. Aww. <laughs> he served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but... Well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. Aww. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on him. Yeah. Hayden. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Mm. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Mm. We should get going. No, I'm, I'm Good glad he's okay. <laughs> Stay safe out there. Admiral Zen. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Yeah. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geral sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. <laughs> Shala Ran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. I think there's fireworks. Hopefully it stopped. <laughs> Sorry about that. You support experiments on living creatures? Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Hmm. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? 
And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Well, oh god. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. <laughs> oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? Aww. I mean, probably not, but you help me. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay now. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he Aww. isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Poor Vitor, you've been so through so much. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Yeah. Anything at all? Nothing new. Mm. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, no. come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't I see anything, asking. and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. Yeah. I know. I didn't. <laughs> but thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Aww. Shepard spoke well to the Admirals. Talizora and Hafara are out of control. This is on their heads. The human can work a crowd. I'll admit that much. Got anything else to say? Hmm. Where are these other admirals? Where's that cowardly one? You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Mm. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Mm. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. Yeah. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that I ship. I know, they're like... You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Yes, tell us everything. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Riazora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. Great. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. You tell him, darling. <laughs> How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. Aww. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. 
You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. Interesting. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Mm. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. Hmm. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Hmm. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Hmm. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Tali Zora can. That's right. Oh, God. If Tali Zora is stuck with a human captain, at least it's an adequate one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tali Zora's first thought is to protect the fleet. No. Tali, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You've got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? Yeah, I can I tell you that, and your too. Father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our right, safety. Right, exactly. It just doesn't make sense. smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Exactly. Finally, someone who understands. Can you tell me anything about the Alara? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Mm. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Mm. Can you tell me about the other Admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize, Tally, is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. Yeah, he seemed annoying. You disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? <laughs> Maybe a little that bit of both. a damn Geth <laughs> apologist thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. 
You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, we're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, <laughs> I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> That's rail for you. <laughs> it sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> You noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if... They did get their homeworld planet. Would they be able to walk around without any problems? Kind of like how when we picked her up from that other world, she said that they there was a time when they could walk without suits. What if it would be the same for the homeworld too? Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. <laughs> I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You yes, you do. You endangered and dishonored our fleet. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. Do you have proof? You have a ship named Quib Quib? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Our people have, during difficult <laughs> periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. Mm -hmm. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. <laughs> if it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib. <laughs> and I will not flee because of petty insults. <laughs> it does sound funny though. <laughs> what exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. I feel like I kind of understand his point of view, in a way, because they did create them, and then when they became sentient in a way all of a sudden they wanted to kill them so i definitely can understand how he feels like what they did was wrong you and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond tally's trial you are correct tally i apologize for it being brought into your proceedings the other admirals are pushing for war rail zora was researching new weapons to use against the geth they would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. 
We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Hmm. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Interesting. I feel like we definitely learned a lot more about them. It is a very difficult situation. I think what I found interesting was back in ME1, I'm pretty sure the Geth were transmitting music, Quarian music. I thought that was really interesting. I guess we head out then. If anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizora can. That's right. And she's gonna do it. Bring it in it. To the Alarai. Is this it? During the hearing, Talizora's first thought is to protect the fleet. <laughs> I didn't expect a human to be such a good speaker. Thank you. So many compliments. <laughs> Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of Geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't right. even make sense. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Hmm. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock yeah, I'm ready. Now. I hope. Good luck with those Geth, <laughs> Alizora. Keep us alive. Here we go. Hmm. We take the Alarai from the Geth and find evidence to clear Tali's name. You guys ready? Grunt's been quiet this entire time. There they are. Ow! I thought I was about to die there. Mm. Ooh. Nice. Something slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Rails are ordered us to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. Hmm. Might have ended bad then. They ignored security protocols. Let's grab this. Especially when you're talking about AI. Ooh. Repair 
drone. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask why I am so stressed. Green and purple. Yep. And then, and then blue. Uh, blue and orange. Ah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'll be taking the medical stuff. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Hmm. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, mm. clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and father would send a small ship. Hmm. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. It is impressive, but that's pretty big. I don't know if you have pockets to hold that. I didn't notice it <laughs> when we picked you up. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. with lots of credits. <laughs> I'll take all the credits I can get. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 
God, they melt you. Jesus! That one was just waiting for me to look up. Let me get Tolly back in here. Hell yeah. over. You good, Tolly? <laughs> I feel like Tolly just kept getting focused that entire time. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, refined palladium. I will take medkit. Ooh. This console might have some most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Hmm. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoner Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Hmm. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. Mm. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Hmm. Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. Hmm. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Mm. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Mm. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. Aww. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. Aww. I feel like I definitely understand. I mean, they want to just be free. That would be hard. Oh, my tongue. Feel the blood rage.
shit. Death Trooper. God, there's so many of them. Ow! Oh, there's another one there. These are the annoying ones over here. Get out of here. Cause he's dead. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What's over here? I'll definitely be taking that. I definitely need it after that fight. It's not what you wanted, but it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse, thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we're ending this. God. We're gearing up. What Tolly? Oh god, these are confusing. <laughs> oh god, another one. <laughs> Oh 
let's go. What was he trying to do? Oh god. I think it's a good time to pull this out. So it's Ooh, cute. is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, mm -hmm. Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. Hmm. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. <sighs> oh. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. Sounds like the hearing is already underway. We must trust Shepard's offer of assistance. It's only been a few hours. Is this the wrong way? Oh! Okay. 
Sasha. Very well. Is the Admiralty board? <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> no, we're here. Sorry, we're late. No. Tally Zoravas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. And Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tali Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alari. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please, don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Aww. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tally, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. <laughs> Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. Now, what's this? <laughs> cute. Hello again, Commander. Good luck, Tally. Very impressive speech, Commander Shepard. But tell me truly, did you recover any of Rail Zora's research on the Alari? Nothing that will help you, Admiral. Pity. Oh well. Whatever is created can be recreated. In any event, I am pleased that our talk regarding the war conundrum allowed you to help Tali. Her exile would have been unfortunate. Hmm. You should abandon your plans, Admiral. They're only going to make the situation worse. We shall see, Commander. Many things are impossible until they are done. Hmm. I don't like her. Nice talking, Shepard. <laughs> You're funny how it takes a commander to remind the admirals about military honor. <laughs> Glad they're off your back, ma'am. And that you didn't have to give them that evidence you found on the LRI. I didn't say anything about finding evidence, Carl. Notice that, ma'am. <laughs> Any idea what your next assignment's gonna be? Mm. 
I'm gonna be escorting more techs around to look for signs of dark energy buildup. Maybe see if they can figure out what's causing it. Wherever they send me, it'll have to be less exciting than Haystrom. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious about that too. What's your take on the war? Are the Admirals gonna try to retake the homeworld? I won't shy away from a fight, but if the Admirals throw the fleet at the Geth, all they'll get back is scrap metal. The best bet would be for us to find another way. But a soldier can't say unless his superiors ask. Mm -hmm. Stay safe out there, Rieger. You too, Shepard. Ma'am. Carl, just call me Tali. I'll work on that, ma'am. <laughs> the LRI was a good start, but there are lots more get out there that need killing. Hmm. The admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. Hmm. Would it be bad to tell her? Uh, should be fine, right? We found Rail's body. He left a message for Tally. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us alive. Hmm. You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Hmm. I think it should be up to Tally. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral. Including my father's, that's all. Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. Hmm. Very impressive, Shepard. Thank you for your help on the Alarai. And thank you for helping Rail Zora's daughter. You stood for her when we failed. We were wrong to let our own concerns about the war overshadow Tali's trial. The galaxy needs more people saying what you're saying, Admiral. Good luck. Thank you, Commander. Even though you can be annoying. <laughs> but I, I do think that it would be better for them to not go to war. I understand, I definitely understand their want to go back to their home world. It's just, you know, it's really hard. It's, yeah, every decision in this game is hard. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Talizada was innocent after all. Yeah, that's right. Do you have something to say? The like talk of war gives me hope. Maybe we can retake the whole world in my lifetime. Oh, God. Congratulations, Talizora. I was skeptical about your choice in captains, but I see now that I was wrong. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> I'm just glad that this is over. You'll always have a place on the ride, whenever you decide to come home. Good luck out there. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Flotilla. Let's head back. Ah. Let's go. Tally Zora has been cleared of all charges, and her trust in Shepard ensures her loyalty on the mission. Political ramifications of Korean war efforts against Geth are troubling. Likely to need Korean forces against Reapers cannot risk additional instability. Let's hope for the best. They can definitely, if they want to go to war after, but for now, like, there's not going to be a place for them to be if the, we don't take care of the Reapers, so... <sighs> Treason. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Have I? Shepard. 
information from Jert. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Learnitis only gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew on the Dantius Tower. You helped me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He looked. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down, and I wonder if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck and shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life, woke up something in me that I didn't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm doing, going to do, but Solarian's lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him, that beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm going to buy some nice clothes. <laughs> so if you could tell him that, or whatever parts of you th you think is appropriate, I'd appreciate that. Aww. Cute. Aww. I should, be, I should put it in the trash. Okay. <laughs> That's adorable. Let's go tell him. I wonder if he has any things to say. Let's see if I can tell him about his admirer. <laughs> Oh, hello. Shepard. Oh? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Oh. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured. The individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He has taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name, and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? Mm. That thought haunts me more than any other. Mm. 
Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. <laughs> the last time I saw my son, they grabbed her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off of the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be king of the moon. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes mm -hmm. a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Banker store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Hmm. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Oh, God. Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? Not yet. I shall return okay. to my meditation. Well Man. Both Samara and him. Family troubles. Ah! This is so... Ah! I'm not equipped to handle these situations mentally. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Gabby, you'd say the Normandy is a she, not a he, right? Of course. The Normandy is the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. <laughs> a lot of female energy, and I'm just one man. <laughs> Look where your mind went. You got to watch out for yourself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Keila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty board. What will that do to the balance of power? Mm. I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like <laughs> to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. Hmm. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should <laughs> get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Aww. I'll see you later. But wait, I still want to talk Shepherd, to you. What can I do for you? Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers. How's the Normandy they... running? Say what you will about Cerberus. I don't know if it can stand up to I'll a... let you work. Talk to you later. Okay, I'll see you later, Tolly. Wait a second. You got anything else to say? Shepard, what can Just I do in for case. you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. No one ever wants to talk to me. <laughs> Lonely Shepherd. Oh, Joker. How's things going? I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. I fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about well, the people? about the ones you... Grunt is... Well, I always like Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my <laughs> opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading That's it, it for now. 
Cute. See you, Commander. Bye. <laughs> doop doop bop ba doop bop boop. Hello. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. No. <laughs> a lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. <laughs> In my case, it happens to be true, but still. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. <laughs> I'll be here if you need anything. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm calling that one there. I'm glad we finally got to see the flotilla. I've always wanted to go to the flotilla, so I'm really glad that we got to. And we got to meet a lot of different Quarians. And I feel like we understand how the Quarians work and how their whole culture is, so that's really cool, too. Um, I am very sad about Tali's dad. That was so sad, and I feel... Oh, I just hope she's okay. Oh. But at least we cleared her from treason. And, yeah... In the next one, we're probably going to do Kasumi's. I've been <laughs> holding off on that one for way too long. We've had it for a while. So I think it's finally time to do Kasumi's mission. And then I'll probably do Garrus's. Because I feel bad. <laughs> also, Garrus isn't telling me about his calibrations. So I feel like I need to do that so that he can tell me that he's calibrating things again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Huge thanks to all my lovely patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.